Hey, welcome back. We're in the book of Exodus. There's instructions here for the creation of the tabernacle or the sanctuary, and we're kind of working our way right through. So today we're going to continue. We talked yesterday about the kaporet, the lid, the mercy seat, so to speak. And today we're going to look at verse 18 through 20. You shall make two cherubim of gold, make them of hammered work at the two ends of the mercy seat. Make one cherub at one end and the one cherub at the other end. You shall make the cherubim of one piece with the mercy seat at its two ends. The cherubim shall have their wings spread upward, covering the mercy seat with their wings and facing one another. The faces of the cherubim are to be turned toward the mercy seat. So a cherubim, what's that? Okay, so a cherubim is uh, there's one of these kinds of angels. There's seraphim, there's cherubim, there's uh, different kinds. We don't know exactly how many, but cherry beam is one kind of angel. These angels are represented as having wings. Uh, their wing is extended up above the ark, and some have said this is uh, indicating kind of like a throne-like thing, the cherry beam with, throne, with wings. Go and look in the book of Revelation. You'll see some interesting business there in chapter 4 and 5. Now, I want you to notice the placement of the cherry beam. They are placed at the opposite ends of the of the kaporet, the mercy seat, uh, standing over the ark, and they're facing each other, but they've got their wings extended up, and they're facing each other, but they're facing literally, their faces are averted. In the center will be the Shekinah glory, where God's presence is, is man, especially manifest, but they're not looking at that. They're not looking at, at that in the center. Their eyes are averted. They're looking down out of, out of respect and awe of God. They are looking down. So in the center is going to be God, and here are these cherubim beam representing the angelic host, uh, deferring to God, uh, bowing before him, and averting their faces. So this is how holy, how things and holy things get here. Now I mentioned that this is part of the uh, slab of gold, the, the mercy seat that's over the top of the Ark of the Covenant. The cherubim beam are created, are, you know, molded, shaped, and put in the shape, and they are actually then hammered in, and they're inc incorporated. They're part of the mercy seat. They're fully attached. They're not Velcroed on. They are the mercy seat itself. This giant slab of gold has these angels represented on it with the wings extended and looking down. That is all one physical piece when they're done with this. That's the plan. As we think about how God wants this extraordinary uh item, the sanctuary and the different pieces, center of the economy of Israel, where God addresses the sin problem and gets rid of the sin, uh, how God wants that set up. Very important, and more tomorrow morning. See you then.